It's got mm, his okay. nose in there. Yeah. This is why I can't be a sommelier because it smells exactly like <laughs> egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It smells like red wine. So today, besides being a National Potato Day, today is also Pinot Noir Day. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so Noir. Greg loves wine. I do. Pinot's not necessarily your favorite, though, right? You're, like, you're more of a cab guy. My favorite is a cab, but if it's red, it's for me. Would you say Pinot okay. in general is more of a yeah. medium-bodied red, Greg? Yes, mm. and cab has more of a full body, and, a, and it's yeah. drier. Rich and tan and filled. Yeah, is exactly. Cab, is it Solon Blanc? <laughs> is it what? How do you say it? Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. Yeah. That's white wine. I don't like uh, white wine. I've tried to get into it. I can't. It tastes uh, not bitter, but like sour almost. Like well, cider. Well, it has a cider a quality of, to uh, it. of uh, fruity textures and mm. notes yeah. to a yeah, white. I can't get into and it. you got to put ice cubes in it, right? Uh, you're like, not supposed to. Or frozen yeah. grapes, maybe. Ooh. Ooh that, see, now that would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, I like Cab the best. So we have three different bottles of wine in the studio. Greg's being paid to drink on the job today. <laughs> yes. Okay. What a terrible day. I know, right? Love it. And so one is an $80 bottle of wine. Jeez. Wow. Another one's a $40 bottle of wine. Also jeez. I know, that's jeez. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is the, the cheapo depot. The cheapest yeah. you could find. Yep. Ended up being about five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. All right. All right. So and that's so, what I call a daily guzzler. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put uh, Greg's palate to the test. Ooh. His wine nose oh. to the test. Yeah, Don't wait. know if I'll be good at this. God, I went to a restaurant over the weekend and, you know, the guy came over and I'm not a wine drinker, right. but I always got to sit through the whole thing because the other people at the table always pretend to be really interested. God. And they do and the smelling and the swirling. Just, just the way he's going on about like, and then the way the cool air comes through the valley and really tickles uh, the grapes. Oh, does so like, it? No. You jackass. <laughs> okay, man. Now, Greg, I'm not a fan of any of that stuff because they way overanalyze. Yes. Yeah. They count, they, you know, they swirl, yeah. they look at the legs. Also, I've found traditionally the uh, the crazier the winemaker, the better the wine ends up being. <laughs> this, and this guy is bat-ish crazy. Well, one thing they say that I do agree with because apparently it's scientific, the harder a time that the vine has to grow, like it's struggling more, the better wine it creates. So if it's in a drier portion of the acreage, if it's in a colder it, portion, if it struggled more to grow. It's kind of like people. Huh? Like people who really kind of yeah. had a struggle. Yeah. Like the, the success is that much sweeter. Right. Like they'll call it old <laughs> vines in. So okay. it's the <laughs> older vines. It's not a, you know, a new vine. They, they struggle through the soil. And the yeah. more they struggle, the better the wine. That I agree with. Allegedly. Now, Greg, in the presentation, do they still smell corks? Is that still the move? Yeah. I haven't seen that in the well, this guy, This guy smelled the cork, did not give it to anybody at the table to smell it, but he's like, <sighs> and, it just, yeah. and then oh, kind of placed God. it down while he- I want to meet this jackass. I'm noxious. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you about the place. Was places. he an actual, like, did he say, I'm the so, I'm the house sommelier? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> the second yeah. somebody walked in my table, was about to- Go through that spiel. I'm well, like, this nope, this place it. does that every time. It's an Italian place, oh. and this guy's like, uh, you know, very much oh. wants to pair the wine with whatever you are oh. ordering. Shut up! Yeah. Don't want to hear it. Yeah. Go away, <laughs> Greg. What was your wine story? Well, I, it was more of a pro tip. So I think I've mentioned to you before that I had this one friend who would invite me over for dinner and tell me to bring a bottle of wine, which a faux pas out of the gate. You don't tell somebody to bring wine. The person you're bringing should know to Automatic, bring wine. Yeah. So tacky uh and then he would also put a dollar value on it so bring a bottle of wine fifty dollar minimum and at the time what jackass i was unemployed so like am i gonna go spend 50 bucks on a bottle of wine oh hell no you go to a discount grocery store i.e aldi grocery outlets something along those lines you find a nice looking bottle that is cheap and then you bring it and then they try it inevitably they're not going to criticize it they'll say oh this is nice Ooh. Where did you get it? And you can't say, oh, it was only three ninety nine. You say these words, it was in my collection. Ooh. Oh. See, I didn't Ooh. go out and buy it. It was in my, it was, wow. it was in my collection. Yeah. Okay. You, you can say, oh, well, I visited the winery. They're like, oh, it's Australia? Really? Right. Yeah. So if you say it was in my collection, you don't really remember where you got yeah. it. Yeah. You've had, so many. You've had it for a while. It's been, yeah. So that's the Just say tip. some tacky house guest brought it and <laughs> probably some three buck <laughs> chuck. Yeah. yeah, you just say it was in my collection. There's your out. And then the other wine story I had was this one and only time in my life that I had a customized couch. I had it made to fit this one space. It was a chaise Ooh, how section. Bougie. It was very bougie. It was the the customized one of the oh, bougiest wow. things I ever did where I gave him the measurements of this one corner and I wanted the couch to fit 
from this wall to this wall, and it had a chaise lounge on it. Ooh. Chaise lounge. Chaise lounge. Chaise lounge. Chaise lounge. <laughs> you all remember the time. Like, yeah. like we've never custom ordered a couch before, Greg. Just <laughs> yeah. yeah. crafted. Yeah. We know how it works. So, so yeah. I had this thing for about a week, and I, <laughs> as you know, I drink red wine every night. Shocking, right? And I fell asleep, kind of like leaning back, and I had the stem glass on my chest, and I had my, my fist wrapped around the stem of the glass, completely fell asleep, and I wake up, and the it looked like a murder scene. The couch oh my God. was dripping wet with wine because much like you spill something, even if it's a little coffee cup, it looks like you pour, poured 18 gallons of coffee sure. all yeah. over the place. The couch was covered in wine. So did the spilling wake you up or you just slept through it? No, I slept through it. Nice. So, yeah. And I looked like, wasted. It looked like I, <laughs> looked like I was covered in blood because I was wearing an undershirt, a white undershirt. That's just pure red couch is destroyed so i get up and i had to unzip all the covers yeah. wash everything and never fit the right way so i had a did nice the, did the couch wine for come about out? A, a week it basically did but the whole couch looked like crap for the rest of its existence yeah, mm -hmm. and you always knew it was there and i yeah. knew it was well, there. this is why you put plastic covers on your couch right? yeah. of course. <laughs> like grandma's. but remember that pro tip if somebody is expecting, it's from my collection. So it's mm. from my collection. I don't know if like someone like Menace or I can get away with saying that because it's from my collection. Very Maybe clearly, not. we don't come across the kind of guys who have a collection. Right. Yeah. Well, if you've ever been to my home, as uh, only Woody in this room has, I, you notice I do have a I small. Have been there. Oh, that's yeah. right, and Greg. You notice I have a small uh, wine collection. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And one I, of them I was impressed with. Thank I you. told you though, my go-to wine for gifting for anything is Silver Oak. Yeah, that's a very nice one. You can't go wrong. Well, we're going to see nice if uh, Greg can tell the difference between these three wines that we brought in. Again, one is an $80 bottle. The other oh. one's a $40 bottle. And the other one is a $6 bottle. I hope right. so. All right. So uh, we're going to have him taste and then rank. And then we'll tell him which is which. You'll tell me how little I know. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't, I mean, I don't. I mean, maybe you're better than you think. I really don't know a lot. I just enjoy it. Yeah. And as a kid, I thought going to a winery, what could be more boring? Now I think, what could be more awesome? I went as an, I went as an adult. I took my parents to Napa. Yeah, and I agree. What could be more boring? <laughs> it was so boring. I used to boring. hate the smell. Yeah. I used to hate uh, the lifestyle. Now I'm so like, boring. How can I live here? I went to yeah. sparkling champagne one, and because I like, you know, I like champagne or sparkling wine. Yeah. Sorry, because I was in Napa, sparkling wine. Yeah. And they did sell me because I got so wasted on the monthly thing. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I had like sparkling wine come to my house for like two months, two hey. years. I mean, but I, I feel the same way about beer snobs or you know whiskey snobs or you know. They take it to the next bourbon level. people, yeah. you know, like right. yeah, just like just give me a dive bar, beer, tequila, like that kind of place. Right. Well, then what are you doing? Go to these the, Italian uh, restaurants with the yeah. damn sommeliers? Yeah. yeah, because it's the food, and the the food is really good. I'm there for the gabagool. Oh, no. I, oh. Went, I went there because I heard the, the, the food was really, the food is amazing. <laughs> yeah. The food's right. really good. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just not a wine person. So he comes. Oh, the cool air. Like, stop yeah. it. Shut up. <laughs> stop it. Woody show. Greg for work gets the drink on the job. Oh, so lucky. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. All right. So we're not going to give you the names of the wines because you might uh, recognize. All right. Okay. But I will tell you that uh, one, I have the official prices. Uh -huh. Greg, one of these wines is $70. Yes. Another one is $30. Okay. And the third one is $5. Okay. Okay. 70 is. Maybe you know a Christmas Eve kind of wine. Uh, I would occasion. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's yeah. crazy expensive. I think honestly, I think if it's more than ten, it's expensive. Okay, well, it's really? Pinot Noir Day. Well, you drink so much of it, you gotta. <laughs> I know. You, you go gotta bankrupt. be budget conscious. I know. Yeah, yeah. so it's a uh, Pinot Noir Day. These are all Pinots, and uh, we're gonna see how well Greg knows his wine and he sniff out or taste which one is the seventy dollar, which one's the thirty dollar. In which one is the five dollar? Ooh! All right. Now and when Greg, I do, go ahead. Oh, when I do wine tasting, the uh, other day we were looking for a new mattress, and if you've ever done that before, you lie on one and you go, "Ooh, this is nice," and then you go try another one, you go, "Ooh, this is nice," and then you try the third <laughs> mattress, "Ooh, this one's nice." By the fourth mattress, you're like, "These are yeah. all nice. I don't right. know which yeah. one I yeah. like anymore." That to me is wine tasting. After the fourth one, you're like, "All right, uh, yeah. kind of <laughs> all, all the same." same. Kind of starting to feel it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, now, I have a wine tasting wheel, Greg, and okay. it has Ooh. the different types. Because people just say, oh, it tastes good. Right. Yeah, that's good. It might that's be something good. like, yeah, exactly. Like, it might be something like, oh, this is more fruity, herbaceous, nutty. There's a woody or earthy flavor. Bold aroma. Yeah. Yeah. Bold, yeah. This, this will help you if you're maybe searching for a term to describe oh. right. what's on your tongue. Yeah. So um, 
Greg, you will try the one, but he's pretty good at uh, describing things. He is. Yes. He's got an extra you know, he's, vocabulary. Yeah. Now, yeah, Sammy to give a description of something. It's like it's okay. I like it. <laughs> but, I okay, but like, I what's like okay it. about it? Yeah. All right. So oh, uh, this is a rad chart. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you know what? Can my, I keep it? My gift to you. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Wow. I'll, I'll order oh, another this one. is awesome. Yeah. So, so it's basically it's a wheel, and it says like, well, if it's if this it's fruity, color, if it it might be this type of fruity, it and this be, is yeah. a thing. Oh, this is awesome. One of the adjectives, Woody, is Woody. Oh. Oh. This wine is woody. It's it's resinous. Yeah, it tastes like bark. Okay. It's it's kind of <laughs> phenolic. All right, so somebody hand uh, Greg sample number one. Right, oh, right behind you there. Describe A, B, or C. Yeah, they're 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 randomized. Okay, so. anonymized, I should say. So I'll right. we'll start with okay. A because it comes first alphabetically. Okay, so, so I'll uh, do the obligatory smell, which okay. they all smell the same to me because mm. I'm not an expert. Yeah, yeah. you're supposed to like stick your nose oh, all the way in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now you're supposed to mm. swirl it and see what mm. kind of legs it has. Is that? Uh, yeah, I don't know if legs would work in a plastic cup or not. Yeah, they they don't. But I'm seeing, oh, yeah, no right. leg. Like, so what's the uh, what's the point of the legs, Greg? Uh, allegedly, you swirl it around in your glass, and you hold your glass by the stem, obviously, because you're not a caveman. <laughs> and the legs are the things. Once you swirl the wine around, the remnants of it kind of start to go Stream down the glass, down yeah. the sides of the glass, and, right? And they say the more legs, the better the wine. Okay, oh, really? Okay. And they should kind of go down slowly as opposed to you swirl it and it's just whoosh, all the way back down. Okay. All right. So this right, is so not working go. on a plastic cup, but okay. All right. Okay. This I would describe, let me let me consult my chart here. <laughs> it's yeah. wine wheel. It's yeah. slightly <laughs> fruity. Okay. So I'm getting a little bit of blackberry. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a hint of fig. Now that it's, doesn't ooh. not sweet. Now for folks who are super mm -hmm. new to wine, they would never blend a fig or a blackberry in a wine, but perhaps the uh, the vines are in an area where those sort of things are grown. Perhaps. Yeah. This is what fascinates me about wine when people say, "Oh, I I sense lemon or vanilla." Some people might think they add that to the barrel. No. They don't. It just comes out that way. Right. Which is why like, I, okay. it's so interesting to be a winemaker. How do you figure out these blends? So, this one Definitely not sweet, which I like. It's It tastes fruity, but it's not sweet. Yeah, I mean, you're getting some fruit hints, but it's not. It's, Without the sugar. Okay. It's, it's, definitely, bitter, it's definitely or... dry. Okay. Um, And I like it. All, All right. right. Okay. I so, mean, it's uh, very good. That sample, and now you do have uh, some kind of palate cleanser there. Was just a, yeah, these... this is a nice plain cracker. Pita chips. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it looks like a Trader Peter Joe's yeah. pita bite cracker. No. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Greg, would you mind sipping from the other side of your mouth? Uh, yeah, because we don't block your beautiful face for the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Sipping. Okay. okay, so this is uh, <laughs> sample <laughs> B. Wine B. Yes. Sample B. Sample B. All right, it's got his okay. nose in there. Yeah. This is why I can't be a sommelier because it smells exactly like <laughs> A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It smells like red wine. And sometimes they go like this. They go. <sighs> oh, yeah. Mm. Like, they have mouth wow. Almost like to aerate. Yeah. That is thing. vastly different than wine A. Oh, really? Mm. Is, would you say that, better or worse? Um, It's a little bit, what I call, it has more of a throat feel. A little bit more <laughs> oh, of the, really? okay. a little bit more oh, of the yeah. burn. I know. Yeah, nice, yeah. That's right? That's what she said. It's like, have, start with this throat feel, then you move on to the next kind. Um, I'm getting, and this, this is the thing with me and wine. All the adjectives I use for wine that sound negative to me are positive. Like, Dirty, earthy. Okay. And this one I'm getting chemically. chemically. Which to me I like. Oh, okay. And that is one of our really? adjectives on my new favorite official chart, chemical. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kind of getting, I guess I would call this not skunky, but a little bit of kerosene. I know that sounds kerosene terrible. Chemical. But it's it's stronger, it's and sharper. I'll tell you this, like once you sipped it, I can really smell it from over here. Now, is yeah. that maybe an indic indicative of a slightly higher alcohol content? Right? I wonder. I wish Menace would try that hmm. one. How's the, uh, how's mm -hmm. the texture of it, Greg? I mean, it's, mm. uh, it's not smooth. Okay. It's the opposite of smooth. Oh, it's, it's, God. Uh, it smells terrible. It's uh, more tanniny. It's more astringent. More of a burn. Okay. okay. But I do like it. Somebody says uh, the legs show alcohol. Uh, like how much alcohol? That's oh, what the, really? That's oh. what the internet's yeah. saying as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the legs also show what the sugar content is. If it runs slow, there's a lot of sugar. Ooh. Fast, low sugar. Like you oh, said, right. the first one didn't have yeah. legs, but after he sat it down, it had some legs on it. Also, yeah. someone says inhale, then breathe. Inhale mm -hmm. and hold. 
and drink, oh. then breathe out. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. So. That's too complicated. I need a yeah, yeah. direction it's chart. A he needs another chart for that. Yeah. Even in the plastic cup, though, B has way more legs than A. Okay. All right. All right. Very nice. And uh, finally, this is uh, wine, Pinot Noir Day. It's a uh, wine sample C. It's got his nose in there. Hmm. It smells slightly like A and B. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. A little sip. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is definitely the sweetest of the three. Mm. Um, it's like dessert wine. I mean, it's completely the sweetest one. Vastly different. This is definitely fruity. It's sugary. It's not a discernible fruit. It's just pure sweetness. Um, maybe I got to take one more sip. Naturally. <laughs> yeah, please mm. do for research. Maybe I'm getting berry, like berry, some sort of cherry or maybe even strawberry. Mm. Okay. okay. It's jammy. <laughs> it's smooth. There's not a lot of tannins, not a lot of throat burn. Is it, um, is it almost out uh -huh. of the Pinot Noir and category? It, and it does actually seem to have a ton of legs. So some, if the texture is correct, more sugar. Okay. And it is okay. going slow. So All right. Uh, this is the sweetest of the three oh, by far. Fun. Okay. Now, Greg, mm -hmm. of the three that you just tried, yeah. how do you rank them? I'm, let's go in for round three. <laughs> yeah, just what, he just wants to make yeah, sure. Yeah, you want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. A is mm -hmm. a, Okay. Yep. There's B. Okay. I have my ranking. Because I, right. I tried, just based on your description, I tried to guess on which one's which. Right. Without having uh -huh. even tasted them, we'll see good how good his descriptions are. But uh, Greg, so yep. uh, your ranking. I am going. B is my favorite. B. It's the strongest. It's the driest. It's the less sweet. Okay. Then I'm going A. It okay. just has it has a good balance. It's it's not too sweet, but huh. it's also slightly fruity. Any uh, any coincidence that you went B A C blood alcohol kind? Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. And then C for my palate, it's too sweet. It doesn't taste earthy. It doesn't okay. taste uh, exceptional in any way. All right. And it's just too fruity. All right. Hmm. Getting well. It's too <laughs> sugary. It's. Uh, mm. Let's see which one. Is Greg's favorite? A, B, or C? Which one is it, Seabass? Well, didn't he just tell us? Well, no, yes, no, no. but you know I, which one is which. Which is uh, which one? Well, I'll go over it. I gotta go. I gotta go behind to reveal. Okay. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. All right. Well, so okay. This, this, this is the, this the first the time reveal. I'm looking at the bottles because again, one is one is seventy dollars. One is thirty dollars. The other one is five dollars. And yeah, so, they uh, all yeah. look nice. All right. Which one is uh, which one is B? Um, Seabass, I. <gasps> That's B? Yes. Yeah. Which is, which I can't the see what the label is. Dormant Serene. Oh, that is the most expensive bottle. And that's wow. B? That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. And guess what? I also guessed that based on your, because. Really? Yeah, you said something about like, uh, uh, like cherries or whatever, or strong and mm. sharp. And yeah. so the bold aroma, acidity is how they uh, describe yes. it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It had tasted the most chemically The red to me. fruit, the cinnamon spice. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So Greg, uh, his favorite was the most expensive bottle. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second was bottle A. Bottle A. Which I thought was nice. It was, you know, a good general well-rounded uh -huh. wine. And that is? That is the Fess Parker, Ooh. which I've heard of, but I don't know its reputation. I don't that know. is the second most expensive. That was the $30 Whoa. bottle. Oh, and yeah. guess what, Greg? Based what? on your description, I, again, correctly guessed. You know me so well. Wow. Because you said fig, and you said something about <laughs> like uh, like blackberry or whatever. Yes. And so there's blackberry. dark cherries in this. Interesting. Dark cherries, spices, and sweet French oak. Okay. <laughs> right, and so just the way you describe that, I, I put down A. You can see right My here, God. Fig, yeah, whatever. Right? So I should like do sex. And then uh, the one that you said was super sugary, very that's sweet. The, that's the one I assigned the cheapest one because I figured like, they're just gonna try to make this thing as sweet as possible. That is line thirty nine. Yeah. Line thirty nine Pinot Noir. Not it's only five bucks. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah. Way too sweet. Way too smooth. Have you ever had Chianti, Seabass? I'm sure at some point. But I don't to me, it. Chianti is way too sweet and way too watery. It's almost mm. like you could guzzle it. Mm. But B, the Domaine Serene. Domain Serene. Serene. Perfection. All the negative words that people would think are bad, earthy, mushroomy, dirty, chemically, <laughs> that's my favorite kind well, of Well, Greg, wine. you did a great wow. job. Thank you, guys.
Yeah, great job. Thanks for Fred. the chart. Thanks yeah. for the wine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Best day ever. Is, I feel like it's Christmas. I know. <laughs> <laughs>